All right. Next question is from Forever Strong Cairo. Should food stamps be banned from use on junk food? Well, this is a this is a, actually a, a fair question because hmm. you're already giving people uh, money and telling them that they can only buy one type of thing with it, right? So when you get a food stamp, it literally says it must be used on food. So it's a fair question, but here's why I still don't like it. I don't think... I think if we're going to give people money, it should just be money yeah. to, to spend on, on whatever you want. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, then some people are going to spend it on bad stuff. And this is, again, more attempt at control, right? So, oh, we're going to give you food stamps, but you can only buy it on this kind of food and not that kind of food. And, and you know, g- giving them just money means that they're going to even have more freedom. I like that because, yes, some people are going to spend it <clears throat> poorly, but there are going to be some people that are going to spend it. Well, who knows how they'll yeah. spend it? Maybe they're gonna use it on education. Maybe they use it to start a business. Maybe they'll use it for daycare. So, no, I'm always in, in favor of less control. I don't like food stamps to begin with. I think people should just get money if we're gonna give them anything right. and make them spend it. But if since they already had food stamps, I don't think we should add an additional control. Plus, what is the government going to, uh, you know, you know, d- d- decide what junk food is? Um, if you don't think that they're being influenced by. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, brand, companies by certain brands. Yeah, yeah like this like, brand's considered healthy. You know, just because they they call it healthy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if it's if it's this many grams of saturated fat or this many grams of sugar, it's considered, you know, not junk food or it's considered junk food. Or I remember they considered pizza uh, to be uh, you know a vegetable because there's tomato sauce on it. You know, at one point or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like this at all. It's way too much control. Already, we're controlling people just by giving them money and saying you have to buy just food with this. Yeah. When you don't know what people really, really need, you know, everybody's lives are very complex. If we're going to give them anything, give them money. And if, it, and by the way, that would save us money. It would help us eliminate the bureaucracy that administers all this control money. Oh, just man. give them a check. Here's your money. Spend it how you want. Well, that's and why I always we- leaned on on charity, like uh, in terms of like I, that's how I look at it too. If I'm giving and supporting something, obviously I'm going to do my homework to see if the you know the foundation, the organization is legit and they're not you know just scamming people. But at that point, you know allow you know allow people to do what they're going to do with it. Have the individual freedom rights to you know spend it however they they feel fit. You know for their situation, their upbringing, whatever. Uh, you know, like allow people to to be adults and and to make decisions for themselves. Obviously, you want them to make healthy decisions. This is something that we're passionate about. We try to educate people what those healthy decisions might look like. You know, wherever, whatever you're, you know, you're going through, like a, you know, what you're trying to do, lose weight or or, or gain, you know, muscle mass or whatever. We try to like provide information that you know is is best to kind of get you towards those goals. But at the same time, you're you're an individual. You you have the freedom of responsibility of yourself, and and I feel like that that's what really needs to be highlighted, uh, y- you know, with this kind of stuff. Well, not to mention that, but we also consider this: if you're on food stamps, you're probably in dire straits. Like you're you're somebody who is like at, at the brink of not surviving, and that's that's the idea of food stamps is is government help and support. For somebody who can't get by, right? Who can't, who can, can't even really feed themselves. They don't. They're not making enough money to give them food. And the truth is, a lot of junk food goes a lot further than some healthy foods. You know, go buy, go buy a, a good steak or chicken. It, it, you know, buy the pound. It's expensive. You could buy a, a box of something that'll last in your cupboard forever and is, you know, f- as a tenth, twice as many calories. Which that's what they need is calories to live and survive. And you're gonna get. A, you can get a lot more of it if it's some freaking, you know corn corn syrup based garbage yeah. it, it's going to be a lot cheaper and so you got to if the if the person who is in real need of this that's getting that support uh, is trying to survive and live and and making a choice uh, or making them force them into only using it for healthier foods which potentially could be more expensive it's kind of defeating the purpose of it now i'm also in the camp of like sal or probably even more hard about it. I, I don't i don't like it at all and I'm somebody who had food stamps, hmm. so I'm not pro food stamp. I'm not for food stamps at all. I think that we're we're pretty creative human beings, and when we're when we're forced into those situations, I think that we we find a way to overcome. And my and of course, this is my own bias. I understand that, and my experience with my family and the people that I've seen around me in this situation, I saw more manipulate it or use it and didn't need it 
uh, than the other way around. You know, I didn't I didn't have as many people in my life that I knew that, oh, my God, if they didn't get those food stamps, they might have died. You know, they might not have been able to feed them and their kids and that saved their life. And then it got them on, got them up on their feet and then they got a job and then they got themselves going and then they got off food stamps. I don't have a story to share with you that I have plenty of stories to share on the other of examples of people that have got got it and utilized it because it's something that they can get for free and that it, it did the opposite of motivating them to get them get out and get a job they knew they could get these food stamps and they'd be fine that's what i experienced in, in my life so i'm not even a fan form period and if we are going to give them okay which we do i definitely don't agree with trying to regulate it even more it's, i just like, i just think that you're, it's just a bunch of control it's more and more and more control i have no problem uh with people receiving Help and I have no problem uh, giving uh, people help. I think I think that the you know the test of a good society is how they treat uh, the people um, who need the help the most. I'm a big believer of that. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you look at the whole system, if you look at all the 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 benefits that people can receive, and you calculate them out, it's a it's actually quite a bit when you add everything up, right? All the different subsidies and you add in all the different types of help and uh, in in food stamps and all the other things. It actually uh, amounts to a decent chunk of money, but what people don't realize is to ad administer all of that through the complex bureaucracies that we've created to to administer Cost all just the as much, if not more. It, it's it's a waste of money. Yeah. What if we took all of the money that we spent on that, and instead of paying a bureaucracy, we said you're all fired. We don't need a bunch of government officials handing this out and telling right, saying people, this is for education, this is for food, yeah, this is for yeah. here's your check, spend it however you want, and then we got to be okay with people deciding on how they want to live their lives. Right. Now, what's that's going to look like? Yes, I'm sure a lot of people are going to make bad decisions because people make bad decisions. But I also think a lot of people are going to use that money much more efficiently. Yeah. You know, if you're the mom, if you're a single mom with two kids or three kids and you have food stamps, and you're like, you know what I really need? I really wish I had this money so I could spend it on some childcare. Or I really wish I had this money so I could help myself start a business or pay for some education for myself so I can make more money. But I can't do that because, you know, I have to spend it the way that they say or I have to use it the way they say. I think that's totally silly. It's just more control. And I tell you what, let's just go down that line and see what that would look like. Could you imagine what the government would start to decide what is considered junk food and what is not considered oh, junk food? Yeah, they, you, they've done a real good with the food pyramid. They. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Those are the worst people. Yeah, good job. And you don't know from case to case what somebody needs. You know, like Adam said, you know, what might be considered junk food is processed food. Processed food has some value. It's got long shelf life. Right. A very, very long shelf. Maybe that's what that person needs more at that moment. And we're going to tell them that they can and can't spend it on whatever. I say this. If we're going to help people eliminate the bureaucracy, that already saves us a ton of money. Give the money to people. We'll figure out whatever that number is. Spend it how you want. God, it's up you to you. Huh? It's up to you. <laughs> it's your exactly. And see what that looks like. But this, yeah, c controlling people this way, further controlling them. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of it.